Low risk and affordable solution to the 2020 threat is the Argum ER. As an upgrade to the current production system, the Argum ER essentially replaces the older Harm rocket motor and body fins of Argum with a tail controlled, larger diameter solid rocket motor and integrated control actuation system. The existing Argum guidance and control electronics and warhead remain unchanged. A thermal sleeve protects these electronics from increased skin temperatures due to faster missile velocities. 14-inch folding eject launch lugs are integrated into the rocket motor case to lower missile drag to support the increased range requirement. Based on proven technology from other Navy missile programs, these upgrades provide a significant increase in capability to counter the advanced threats, all at low risk and affordable cost. Since the Argum ER is eject launched, this eliminates the need for the LAL-118 rail launch adapter on the Brute 32, used for the baseline Argum. The Argum ER integrates directly onto the Brew 32 launcher used by the Hornet, Super Hornet, and Growler at the same weapon stations as Argum. The aircraft joint mission planning system core remains unchanged, with only minor software updates to the Argum application module needed to reflect the enhanced capabilities of the Argum ER. The display software in the aircraft cockpit is also updated to account for the Argum ER's increased launch acceptability region. These minor system changes result in significant capability at low risk and low cost. The Argum ER configuration is designed to support future integration into the F-35 internal weapons bay. Its 160-inch length and 1,000-pound weight and 14-inch eject launch lugs allow it to fit within the F-35's internal weapons bay. The missile's range, combined with the aircraft's low signature, helps sustain Blue Force Assured offense well beyond 2024. 2020 land scenarios include advanced enemy air defense sites that employ anti-access and area denial techniques to block blue forces from achieving their mission objective. In this notional scenario, a convoy is in transit through contested straits, with enemy threat systems denying blue force ability to provide surveillance and escort for the convoy. The threat sites consist of multiple systems, including battle management and fire control radars. They are the primary targets for the Argum ER to engage. Due to the range of the surface-to-air missiles, the area of potential denial is large. Nearby Blue Forces include a carrier strike group with a strike package that includes Super Hornets and Growlers loaded with Argum ER missiles. At ranges outside of the threat zone, the strike aircraft safely launch the Argum ERs. Each Argum ER climbs to altitude and acquires targets with its ARH sensor. With its millimeter wave terminal sensor, the Argum ER selects an individual target and the missile guides to impact. The extended range, maneuverability, and speed of the Argum ERs allow them to destroy the fire control radar targets, effectively blinding the site before it can react. Surface action groups in the 2020 C scenario are also of serious concern to our military leaders as they represent a real threat to Blue Force naval assets. Unlike land threats, the early warning radar is co-located with the fire control radar and both are the primary targets for the Argum ER to engage and destroy. Argum ERs launched from U.S. Navy strike aircraft are effective against this threat, thus sustaining Blue Force assured offense. The Argum ER provides the capabilities to counter advanced air defense threats from 2020 and beyond. It provides the U.S. Navy enhanced precision strike capability for its current and future strike aircraft. As an upgrade to the current production system, it is low risk and affordable. Argum ER, leveraging today's technology to defeat tomorrow's threats.